Welcome to another edition of Focus Forward here on uh, Studio 3. My name is Jamie Salinas, Executive Director of Forward Worthington, of course, the Chamber of Commerce, Convention and Visitors Bureau, and Worthington Regional Economic Development Corporation for the Worthington area. This time, we are just kind of very close, within striking distance of downtown Worthington. We are at CCSI. And we're right at the corner of what? That's Fifth Avenue and Ninth Street. Got Jerry Shetler here. She is the executive director. Thanks a lot for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jamie. So let's uh, talk about what CCSI it is. We've done this before. We've done this when it was still called the Chamber Update, but that's been a while. So remind us what is what is CCI? Start off, I guess. You p folks can probably see it behind us here, but uh, what the letters stand for. Uh, CCSI stands for Client Community Services Incorporated. We've, we were founded uh, 69 years ago. We used to be the Crippled Children's Hospital School back in the day. Oh, in this building? Nope, out at the sanitarium. Oh, Tuberculosis okay. Sanitarium is where they started. And um, we moved here in um, 90 okay. into this building. Yeah. Uh, so we'll talk about... The, the works that you do, the services that you offer? We offer residential services to individuals with disabilities, adults. Um, right now we have, oh, let's see, 14 homes, um, eight here in town, uh, two in Wyndham, two in Laverne, two in Sibley. And we offer a whole array of services um, to help individuals stay in their own home independently in the communities that they choose to live in. We also offer services for people who live in apartments. We just come in, drop in, and make sure that everything's okay and go on to the next. And then uh, we also own and operate Windsor Apartments here in town. Oh, where is that located Windsor's at? Windsor's just, and my directions are not great, but north of the hospital. Okay. Yeah. And it's 16-bed apartment, um, and those individuals live independently, and we just provide a place for them to be. What about the favorite, uh, just going off script here real quick, What uh, what's your favorite part? What 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 are the uh, other employees, what do they really like to talk about when when they're coming out here and they're, and they're doing their daily jobs? Well, you know, we, we work with the individual in all aspects of their life, but of course everybody likes to do the recreational things, you know, and head out. Like, the, we were just talking about the city concerts, you know, coming up. Um, we go down to those, uh, regatta. In fact, the regatta this year, we did games again. Uh, we do those every Saturday for regatta, and um, I think we had about 300 kids come through this year, and we do that at no cost to anyone we do that as a give back to the community for the things that they do for us so you mentioned you know the 69 years at this point which means next year coming on 70 yeah. years yeah. Uh, what how has how has the i guess how have things kind of evolved or changed from when it was first established to what we're doing now well when it was first established um everybody lived in a big uh group setting they you know just like a dormitory type setting everything was done in that building um, school you know medical everything was just all in that building and uh, in 74 we opened our first home that housed individuals that lived together we moved out of there and um, from there it's just grown to where we are today um, district 518 also worked with us between the opening and 74 in pulling the individuals out and getting them in public school. And so it's kind of evolved that way. It's just gone from everybody in one place to everybody everywhere. Almost like, you know, trying to keep that, uh, that quality of life about, I guess, as normal as, you know, as you, whatever, however you, de whatever you define normal as, right? right? Right, and that's what we want. And I mean, you could drive down a street and hopefully not know that that's one of our homes. It looks like everybody else's homes. We participate in community just like everyone else, grocery shop and doctors and everything. It's just that way. And we support the individuals to be able to do that. Yep. Uh, how many staff members are in this building right now? Well, in this building, this is our corporate offices, and we probably have 20 individuals here in this office. Yeah, because it's two offices. But Total employees, we have about 105 right now. We're down, like everyone else. We're always looking for employees. Um, but generally, we, we've run about 140 employees. Yeah. Well, uh, talk about that a little bit. Uh, for those folks that 
are interested it's like you know what i'd like to work for a place like that like what uh, what sort of qualifications does somebody that, that's curious need to have um, basically what we look for is individuals that want to help others um you know not necessarily need a high school diploma but if you have one that's good we're not big on the degree thing and just the heart that's willing to work with others yeah they can apply through our website um, online uh, we also are on Facebook so people can apply there also or get our address to apply there so um, as far as you know the regular the regular stuff you know uh, office hours, uh, contact information, what's the best way? Our office hours are 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. Um, you know, you can come in anytime, or you can call us at 507-376-3171, or we're online at www.clientservices.org, and uh, you can um, check us out there. So one other program I forgot to mention or didn't mention, uh, we offer representative payee program that's individuals that receive social security that might need a little bit of help paying their bills um, managing their funds um, we took that program over um, a number of years ago we serve over 100 clients and it's not just ccsi quote-unquote clients it's clients from a lot of different communities including worthington but as far over as pipestone um, you know quite a quite a variety jackson um, and it's a service that we decided that we would provide um, to be able to help individuals make it in the community. So that's the other program that we're doing. And we, like I said, over 100 clients in that program. Wow. Yeah. Talking to Jerry Shetler here. She is the Executive Director, Client Community Services Incorporated. A lot of folks know it around here as CCSI. Uh, one more time, Jerry, uh, the hours and phone number and stuff like that. Um, Monday through Friday, 8 to 430. Our number is 507-376-3171. Uh, and uh, like I said, you can come down to our offices anytime. All right. Another great member of Forward Worthington, CCSI, Client Community Services Incorporated. Remember, when you stop down, make sure you mention to Jerry that you saw her right here on Studio 3 with Focus Forward. Coming up next, going to talk about what's coming up on the community calendar. Welcome back to Focus Forward here on Studio 3. My name is Jamie Salinas, Executive Director of Forward Worthington. Time to talk about what's coming up on our community calendar here. Lots of fun stuff. We are in the summer months. This is where stuff happens. Uh, of course, we are past the Windsurfing Regatta and Music Festival. We look forward now to July for the International Festival, uh, July 11th, 12th, and 13th. Diff slightly different location this year uh, due to the construction on 3rd Avenue in downtown Worthington. They are unable to host it in the usual spot uh, by the government center. So they are moving just down the street a little bit over to Sailboard Beach. You know, we figure, hey, works out pretty well for the windsurfing regatta. Nice temporary location for the International Festival. So again, that is going to be 11th, 12th, and 13th of July uh, over at Sailboard Beach. You can get all of the information you need by going to their website. That is WorthingtonInternationalFestival.org. Another big, uh, uh, another event that has really turned into a tradition here is brought on by our radio station, by Radio Works. It's Radio Works Beach Bash. That is going to be, of course, July 3rd on the shores of Lake Okabina in Centennial Park. Uh, we've got Matt Tennyson uh, is going to be one of the performers uh, as well. So and you can find out more about that by going to their website. That is MyRadioWorks.net. Uh, Beach Bash great a great event uh, that has grown uh, and become a real tradition here in Worthington on July 3rd. Uh, also going on right now, Worthington Regional Healthcare Foundation has their Heart of Gold raffle going on right now. You can find a Worthington Regional Healthcare Foundation uh, board member for tickets or you could come over to our office. Worthington Regional Healthcare Foundation does have uh, an office here at, over at Forward Worthington. Just head over to 700 Second Avenue in uh, in Worthington, and we can certainly help you get one of those uh, one of those raffle tickets. Also coming up, 
and it fills fast. So, you know, get your get your team in. But the Worthington Regional Healthcare Foundation Golf Classic going to be on Monday, July 15th. Very popular event always fills up. So if you're looking at getting your four team, uh, your four team, your four member team, uh, golf team in you want to call Jeff Rodert over at uh, Worthington Regional Healthcare Foundation. Again, and you can call our office. Like I said, uh, Jeff's got an office at Forward Worthington. Uh, our phone number, 507-372-2919. And uh, you find out more information on how you can get your golf team in to the Worthington Regional Healthcare Foundation Golf Classic. That's coming up on July the 15th. Now, King Turkey Day, little bit down the road however king turkey day does have another uh, affiliated event coming up it is the smoking gobbler Co- barbecue cook-off their annual barbecue contest going to be over at uh, the fairgrounds nobles county fairgrounds that's going to be on july 12th and 13th and uh where professional uh, uh barbecue teams go and they are uh, competing for points of course, everybody trying to get to the Kansas City Royal, the Super Bowl of barbecue contests in Kansas City, and uh, you can get points by participating and uh, in getting those points at the King Turkey Day Smoke and Gobbler uh, Barbecue Cookoff. We are a member of the Kansas City Barbecue Society. Uh, w- uh, we are a sanctioned event. So if you're one of those barbecue folks, you like to do that, and you want to get to the Kansas City Royal, call our office again, Forward Worthington. And uh, and ask about how you can get your team in. That's 507-372-2919. Uh, there is a raffle going on for that one as well. They've got raffle tickets available. You can come to our office, uh, 700 Second Avenue, to pick up one or more of those or from any King Turkey Day board member. Uh, another event in the, the month of July, the Agribusiness Committee of Forward Worthington putting on their annual Farm to Table event. Once again, going to be downtown Worthington. This time, uh, just like last year, will be on 9th Street uh, between 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue. Still got a little bit of that uh, construction going on on 3rd Avenue, but that will not uh, that, that uh, won't affect us any. We'll be uh, right on uh, on 9th Street between 2nd. Uh, 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue, and you can get tickets for that event by from any agribusiness committee member, or once again, you can always come down to our office, the Forward Worthington office, 700 2nd Avenue, inside the JBS Fieldhouse here in Worthington. And going on every Tuesday now through October, it is the Farmer's Market and the Street Market. We've got two locations. We have, of course, every Tuesday over at the Downtown Pavilion in downtown Worthington, right at the corner of 2nd Avenue and 10th Street right there. Uh, From 3 o'clock until 6 uh, every Tuesday, the Farmer's Market and the Street Market over at the Downtown Pavilion. And coming very soon, the triumphant return of the Saturday Farmer's Market, which will be once again back at the Ace Hardware parking lot. Uh, that'll be Saturdays through the season for that Saturday Farmer's Market. Of course, you can find this or any other information. Just go to our website, forwardworthington.com. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to our newsletter? great way to keep informed on what's going on around town. Uh, That is going to do it for another edition of Focus Forward. Remember, if you know somebody that is interested in becoming a member of Forward Worthington, have them give us a call. Again, that's phone number 507-372-2919. Go to our website, forwardworthington.com. My name is Jamie Salinas from Forward Worthington. We will see you next time.